say the best way to learn about success is from those who've earned it. And our next guest interviewed 44 super successful people, you'll recognize their names, to figure out how they did it. Joining me in studio is four-time Emmy Award-winning TV host and author of Got What It Takes, Bill Boggs. Bill, thanks for being here. I don't know how I miss interviewing you, Allison. I'm sorry about that. Yes, next what's time the big idea? Yeah. Well, you have some great, great stuff in your new book. Is there some sort of common thread that all successful people share? Did well, you if, I had, if I had to reduce it, you know, like 2,000 pages of transcripts, I, I would say hard work for sure. Don't, it, there's no sense of entitlement. Confidence, and you can develop self-confidence. We can talk about that a little bit. Uh, following the path of your passion and taking a risk. Don't be afraid to take risks. Okay, let's go through some of the famous people that right, you talked to. Good. Mark Burnett, okay, the creator of Survivor, and you credit him with actually starting reality TV. He created reality television. This guy is from England, was held down by the class system over there, but was in special forces, came to the United States, risked everything by renting a piece of fence in Venice Beach to sell T-shirts. That's how he got started. Put all of his money on a piece of fence, and look where he is right now. But wait, how does that translate to reality TV? Just that he's a risk well, taker? Well, he kept his vision, and also I think the fact that he'd been in the special forces led ultimately to Survivor, that he, uh, he, took, he, he took a risk, saw what he had done, and went forward with it. Okay, Brooke Shields, uh, I mean, what made her successful, beauty? Well, be he started out that way, but she's reinvented herself three times. If she retired at 21, she had been, she had been a legend. She went on to be a TV success, going to do that again, reinvented herself on Broadway, and is a total perfectionist. Beneath that sweet per persona is a real perfectionist. Um, Oh, we teased Clive Davis. What's his secret? Well, Clive Davis, a great music mogul, right? Was a, an A student in Brooklyn. Had to keep a scholarship in college and, and law school. Got used to working hard and getting A's and looks at getting a gold record still as getting an A on his report card. Uh, somebody we know here very well, Bill O'Reilly. Well, Bill, What's his secret? Well, Bill O'Reilly started out to be a teacher. Didn't like that too much. Went to journalism school and then said, I'm going to dedicate myself. You can see him saying, like an athlete, to go all the way to the top. I'm going to make every sacrifice possible. So that was the path that he was following, and he stuck to that path, and he did it. Last, Joe Torre. Well, Joe Torre shows us all that confidence comes with accomplishment. Joe says, you know, in the beginning of my career, I was not so confident. And as I got a little bit more and more successful, my confidence grew. Therefore, one of the things you can learn in the book is how to develop your own self-confidence, to use what you do in your accomplishment as a fuel to drive your self-confidence forward. The book is called Got What It Takes. Successful people reveal how they made it to the top. Bill Boggs, thanks so much for joining us this morning. You're in the sequel. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Coming up.